Welcome to Matt's Own HD Sportsnet, presented by the JMU Alumni Association. We're joined by cross country head coach Dave Rinker this morning for another coaches show. Coach, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. So last weekend for the second straight year was a rainy JMU Invitational. Uh, what did you think about the rain striking again for a second year? Well, last year the rain was just a, a gentle, small rain. This was a deluge. Uh, it was raining so hard at times I could barely see. Uh, so, you know, the conditions are the conditions. And the key thing that we have to treat, uh, teach all the athletes is the concept that regardless of the conditions, you got to compete. And I thought we did a great job with that. Yeah, well, the team, even in those conditions, finished second overall. You had two girls finish in the top five and then five finish in the top 11. Uh, so what did you think of the results on the day? Well, right now we're just looking at gaps. How big are the gaps? Are we racing where we need to race? Uh, are, the, are the young ladies going out, putting themselves where they need to be at the mile point? Uh, then are they doing what they're supposed to do through the next part? And then are they finishing? And I thought the group this year uh, really got where they need to be. A little bit of a gap uh, from one to two at the mile point, but then uh, Carol got up with Tessa. I thought they did a great job of racing together. And then the back group did a real nice job. Uh, the girls, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, did a nice job of being together throughout most of the race. Yeah, and you did mention Carol Strzok. Last year, looking at the results, she finished 27th at the JMV Invitational. This year, she finished fourth to lead the Dukes. Uh, what did you think about her performance in the way that she's improved uh, year over year? Well, uh, when Carol came to us, Carol had some uh, physical issues that we had to get over, and uh, she's done a great job of overcoming those. Uh, and so right now, she's running where really she should be. Uh, in high school, uh, Tessa and Carol uh, were almost side-by-side side at the state championship up in Pennsylvania. So they're very uh, equal as far as talent and backgrounds and things like that. Tessa just came in has been very healthy the previous two years, and Carol's just getting over her other problems. And so I see those two uh, battling it out up front. Uh, and then when Kathleen gets back from her uh, injury that she's been fighting for about six months now, I think that uh, our top three are going to be very good. Yeah, and hopefully Kathleen can be back soon and help lead the pack as well. Um, this upcoming Friday is the Longwood slash Adidas Invitational. Uh, talk a little bit about that meet going in. Well, we had hoped it was going to be a little bit bigger than it is. It's going to be a pretty small meet. Uh, right now it looks like it's just going to be Virginia Commonwealth, VCU, Longwood, and us on the women's side. And, uh, you know, uh, it is what it is. I think uh, VCU's got a couple of young ladies that are very good. Uh, Longwood is uh, a team that is coming on. So right now, I mean, we're, we go in definitely favored. And that's not necessarily a bad thing uh, because they'll be able to go in, relax. Uh, we're going to go out and go and race hard the whole way through. Uh, see where those gaps are because when you go to Paul Short, we can do it right now in this race environment. It's going to be a smaller race, not a lot of people. And we can, they can eat much easier to see where they're going and where they are in the race. Uh, we go to Paul Short uh, two and a half weeks from now, pre-Nats, two weeks after that. You're talking about three to 400 runners lining up. And now you're, you've got to get where you've got to be. You've got to get with your runners. You can't see where you are. You don't know if you're in 30th place or in 100th place. Uh, with that many packed people. I mean, you're talking about a line uh, five, six, seven across uh, for 150 meters. And so, you know, this gives us a chance to try to, f to work on some things in a smaller environment so that when we get to the larger races, maybe they can find themselves and work their way through the race. Gotcha. Well, we'll definitely check back Friday uh, evening for the results on the Longwood Invitational. Coach, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.